Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of my Galaxy for Bioinformatics tutorials. In today's video, I am going to show you how to run Traumatic on the Galaxy platform. Now, for those who don't know, Traumatic is a tool that is used for trimming reads, both paired and then single end reads. So, I have already covered the command line version in another tutorial. So, in that tutorial, I showed how to run Traumatic on the command line. So if you already have Traumatic installed on your PC, you can just watch that video to get started. For this tutorial, we are going to do everything online. That means you only need to have an internet browser and an internet connection, and then you can visit the Galaxy platform to do the analysis. All right, that's what we are going to do here. So with the Galaxy platforms, I am using the .eu one, but you can also use the .org. So I will leave the links to both platforms in the description so that you can use the one that um, it's okay for you okay so just use any of the links and visit the gallery platform and make sure you have created an account and you have logged in you can run galaxy without creating an account but if you do that after closing your browser you may lose your data so i advise that you always log in and then run your analysis so that the output will be saved for you okay so before we start the exercise let's look at the syntax for traumatic how we use it for this story we are going to focus on paired and retriming all right so i have grouped the syntax into two basic options and then trimming options so basic option for the most part you have to specify them right then for trimming options some of them will have default values okay so for the training options, you don't have to specify all of them. Some of them have before values, so you can leave them, but you can also specify your own values if you want to. It's all right. So if it was to be the command line, then we have PE, that's it. You have to specify whether it's paired end or single end. So since you are dealing with paired end, PE, and then threads, you don't need to specify that. There's a default value, but you can also specify your own. But read one, with two, you have to specify them. It's composer and then the output files, the names that you begin to output files, you have to specify them as well. Okay, so we we'll take into that. So we have the four output files. So we have output forward paired, output forward on paired, output reverse paired, output reverse on paired. So for output forward paired, uh, these are uh, reads that also have their made pairs okay also available all right so that means that if you take the reads in the r1 so normally with the files you can have for example r1 r2 where r1 stands for forward right so you can have the forward reads okay so if those reads okay they are in the forward reads and then you also have the reverse reads available in the other file that's the r2 then those are forward pair so they will be saved in this file and then for those with unpaired reads that means that these reads can be found only in the r1 that's in the forward uh, reads data that's r1 so these reads can only be found that in that particular file but not in the reverse so that means they don't have made pairs right and we also have output reverse paired so it's the same explanation but this time it has to do with the reverse reads. Okay, so we have output reverse paired, output reverse unpaired. These are the files that will be generated. Of course, in Galaxy, you don't need to get all these codes, all right? So everything will be done for you behind the scenes. But I just thought I will let you know how pneumatic works because you need to understand how these tools work so that if you want to write a report or you want to do a brief explanation, you can do that so let's move back to the galaxy platform and then start the exercise and don't worry i'll show you where to get the example data so that will also be done okay so we are going to follow this tutorial here all right i've covered this tutorial i think two times or three times on my channel um, covering different aspects different topics but for now we'll focus just on the trimming parts all right so i'll leave the link to this page in the description i repeat I will leave the link to this page in the description box all right so what i want you to do is to scroll down when you are on this page scroll down and then you can also read the introduction if you want to 
think you should do that if you're a beginner but i'll focus on the trimming part so i'll move straight to data preparation all right so i have data preparation so i click it and then i'll have my files all right so i have the files here so because these are paired and read in total we have two samples all right so we have sample one we have sample two but i'm going to use the first sample you can also try with the second sample that's fine yes uh, make sure that you're able to follow the tutorial and also the instructions for training can also be found on the same page so if you scroll down a bit you'll find them all right now for now i want us to import the data let's do that first then we will continue so i want you to copy these files all right we even have the instructions here okay so let's just proceed so i'll just copy these files the two of them these are the links so i'll just copy them that's the first now do and i'll come to the graphics platform so here what i always advise is that since it's going to be a new project you need to first create a history and then give it an appropriate name so on the platform i'll come to this side history plus and now click it so you have this coming up on name history you can click on edit and then you can edit and rename it so i'll just say payment it's a traumatic or you can even say traumatic tutorial trimming tutorial that's fine any name is okay so just make sure i have a name so that you can always track them okay now i'm going to upload my data so i'll come to this side upload data i'll click it then i'm going to come to paste slash fetch data because we are importing from the internet these files are not on our systems so paste slash fetch data then i'll come here and then i'll paste it here right, so that's what we do now let's look at the instructions again so on this same page when you are here just scroll down a bit all right and then it says tips important violence so click it to just read it if you're still a beginner but here i want us to look at something here so it says change type set or from auto detect to fast your sangha so we will do this also all right so we will just make sure we change the type to so let's get back to the platform and then where we have the auto detect it says type set or this side right click and you can even type fast skill sangha so it will show that it will show all power types that have the name fast skill sangha so we have this it says fast skill sangha .g. so click it to select and then you can click on start so click on start and once you do you should see that the status is 100 percent and then some output generated and then you can close it at the moment the outputs here have gray background so that means that they are in queue so we will have to wait for the first to be imported so when everything is done the background will turn green so let's wait for everything to get done for us okay the files have been imported so we can proceed so let's look at the next activity so if you have your pascal files or reads okay it's important that you perform quality control that's very very important but for this tutorial we are going to skip the quality control the focus is to show you how to perform the training right so i will skip two the retrieving and filtering that's what you're about to do. if you have your own data it's advisable to perform quality control then do the trimming also check so take notes of that so here's what we are going to do next we are going to do the trimming and the filtering all right now before we even that let's get back to this page again let's do one last check right so when you are here come to this side the first so click on both so this one let's click it so you should make sure that the format is fast kill standard of gz it's important make sure it's this way and then check for the other one too fast kill standard of gz make sure this one is fast kill if you don't see something like this you need to edit 
then go to the type types then make sure you come here and then select Pascal standard of view so make sure you do that so that it's here for me I, i'm already done with that so everything looks fine so i don't need to make any modification so i'll move straight to the activity that we are going to do that is to perform the retrim so trimming and the full trim so we are trimming and full trim so we will use traumatic we have it here all right so we are following the instructions here right so let's get back and then look at the instructions so the first thing is to open traumatic so let's come here so on the galaxy platform come to tools and then search for traumatic so once you start typing it will show for you so you select it this one so select it and you have some options here so let's look at the options here we'll look at them one by one i want us to look at them one by one so here it says single end or paired end we'll select paired end because we are using paired end weight and it's also say perform initial flip step yes then so let's start data sequence of right custom so standard and a lot of sequence to use we have this so that means that we will have to specify an adapter but galaxy already has those adapters on the system so we don't need to import them also we need to select them so we will start with these steps so let's get back so single length or paired and width let's pair them now here it's pair then two separate input files because we have them so take note that now before but let me say that so if you have multiple parent reads it's advisable you put them into a data set collection and run so that the activity will be repeated on all the samples but if you have any challenge with that just let me know we can have a session i'll show you how to for now we have just a single sample so you go for paired and two separate input files so you select it then we can select our files so we have r1 that's first of pair so here we click and we select the r1 this one you know we have r1 r2 so we select r1 then r2 we select r2 we need to make sure we have that so that's what we have okay so that is for it and then we go to perform initial preliminary clip step so we say yes Then when you come here, so let's turn a left sequence to provide custom. So it's standard. If you don't see standard, click and make sure it's standard. Then a left sequence to use it says true sig two single length. But we are using paired end. So we have to select that. Okay. So we have paired end width adapters here. So we select this one, true sig paired end for my sig and high So we select it. But let's just make sure that that's what we have. So that's what we have. So that's it. Done. So true sick pair pair then for my second sick. Now let's look at the other options. So we have maximum mismatch counts. Okay. Which will still allow a full match to perform. So here we select two. And then how accurate the match between the two other targeted weights might be. For P palindrome with an element down to 30. So 230. Let's start with those two first. So here is 2. Here is 30. So it has already been set for. But if you don't see 2 and 30, just type 2 and 30 there. Let's go to the next one. How accurate the match between the adapter sequence has been against it? So here it says 10. Minimum length of adapter that needs to be detected. Eight always keep both reads B specific palindrome mode. Yes, so we have 10, 8, yes. So we have to make sure we have that. So 10, 8, yes. So those ones have also been set. So we are good to go. Now let's go to the next. We also have some Illumina specific parameters. So here it says in traumatic operation select traumatic operation to perform it says cut the specified number of basic from the start of the head crop so head crop 
you have this it says number of bases to remove from a start so so, so three so we have this we have this so let's start with this one select so traumatic operation to perform so let's get back and come to traumatic operation you select traumatic operation to perform. so we click and you select the head crop one which is this one head crop and we, we already have it here so, so we can select then it says number of bases to remove from the start of the read is three that is what we saw here so we make sure we also specify that's okay so that's it now let's look at the next activity so it says insert traumatic operation all right so we have to insert an operation so it says this one here so it says traumatic operation so we select this one cut basis of the end of a week if below a fresh request so that's trailing and then we set it value that's minimum quality required to pick a base to 10. so trailing we come back to select so we we'll click insert traumatic operation then look for the trailing one to see then the value here is what 10. let's just confirm it's 10. so now we have two operations so that is why i have the numbers here so we have one two so now we have two traumatic operations now let's look at the third operation so we have a third one it says select traumatic operation to perform so we have drop width below a specific length that's main length then we set the minimum quality of particle capacity 25 so main length we say 25 so we come back we set main length we click and we set for it that's the first one here so click then Score is 25 as a value. Okay, so we have it there as well. So that is it. Now let's check any other thing to do. Then that is it. Right, but there are other operations you can also perform, depending on your needs and depending on what you want to achieve. But for the most part, this should serve our purpose. Okay, so this is supposed to introduce you to traumatic analysis. So once you know your way around, you can always do some operations on it. So now what we have to do is to run the tool. So we click here to run. I'll click here. Any of them should be fine. So I'll click. Then I'll make sure traumatic runs. So we have the output being generated. On the terminal, we would have specified the output as well. But here we are not going to specify it. So Galaxy automatically specifies that for us. So all that we have to do is to wait for the files to be generated. So let's wait for it to get done for us. Okay. The read trimming and filtering has been done successfully. So you will have the outputs here. Okay. And the background of each of these outputs will be green. That means that everything is okay. So you are going to have four outputs. I made mention of them earlier, and you can also see them here. So we have I1, I2, paired or paired. Next. So for dance analysis, what you want to use is the reads that are paired. That means R1 paired, R2 paired. Okay. Now after trimming and filtering, it's also important for you to perform quality control. I said the quality, right? So you compare the quality of the new output or the new files to the raw reads, the raw files, and then you can look at whether there has been a significant change in terms of quality. And speaking of that, whether there has been an improvement in quality or not. So you will need to do the comparison and decide which of these um, fast reads, whether you use the raw reads or the trimmed and filtered reads. So these are things you have to do before you start your main analysis. All right. So, so here after trimming, okay, mapping is performed and then variants are also called. But these are things I've covered in other tutorials. All right. So for now, you know how to perform retrieving and processing traumatic on the Galaxy platform. All right, so I'll be back with another tutorial which shows how to use Cut Adapt also on the Galaxy platform. And if you're also interested in watching more tutorials on Galaxy, check the playlist right here.